back for more. Today we are hanging out with the beautiful Casey McGrath and we are gonna talk about eyebrows. And I gotta say, you have some amazing eyebrows and we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So with eyebrows, um, it's interesting because I used to have a really hard time with this and every time I would draw eyebrows, especially on the female head, it, it always looked like they were men eyebrows and they were just really crazy and bushy. But once I learned the secret, eyebrows are actually relatively easy and really fun to draw. So I wanna share a story really quick about how I learned how to draw eyebrows. I'll never forget the day I went and I had a, I had a date actually, and I went uh, to this girl's house uh, that I was dating and I got there early and uh, she said, hey, come on in, I'm not ready yet. I'm still, she called it putting on her face. And uh, so she said, come on in and I'll be ready. So I went in, she was sitting down at this little vanity and she was doing this thing called tweezing her eyebrows. She was actually taking tweezers and pulling little hairs out of her head. I couldn't believe it. But here's what she was doing that just amazed me. The way that she would shape her eyebrow, and I don't know if you do this, but she would take an eyebrow pencil and she would wedge it into the side of her nose like this, holding it straight up. Anything that, any eyebrow hairs that went beyond beyond this, um, this eyebrow pencil. She called that unibrow and she would get rid of it. Then she would shape her eyebrows by tweezing and using an eyebrow pencil. But what she would do, she would take that eyebrow pencil, she would turn it like a clock and as soon as it was passing her eye like this, that's where the eyebrow, which arcs up like this naturally, it starts to arc downward, but she would keep it wedged in as soon as it crosses the eye there. Then as soon as it completes crossing the eye, that's usually where the eyebrow hair ends like so, and that would help define the shape. I was blown away by this and I was like, man, I wonder if I can incorporate that into the way I draw eyebrows. And I did, and it works Awesome. Is that how you shape your eyebrows? No? Oh, okay. Well, I heard it's from the bottom up or something like that. Well, that's the, I'm, that's very good, James. How do you know that, James? I All know right, he's things. Not, he knows things, okay? It's my job. We're going to talk about that next, but first let's get the general shape of the eyebrows. So what I'm going to do here lightly, I'm going to have my eyebrow pencil straight up like so. So that is where the eyebrow is going to start arcing upwards like so. Then, as I turn the eyebrow pencil, still wedged into the nostril, side of the nostril, where it crosses through the middle of the eye like this, that is where the eyebrow is going to start arcing downward. And then, if you continue the eyebrow pencil, to the end of the eye, that is where the eyebrow is going to end, and there is the shape of your eyebrow. Now, a couple more things. Uh, when you're drawing uh, women, you want to make the eyebrows a little bit thinner, and uh, Casey, I'm curious, when you tweeze your eyebrows, do you tweeze hair on the top or on the bottom? The bottom on the bottom and there's a reason why that's really cool and not cool to us guys. So what that does, that gives a natural lift and it makes the eyebrows thinner but it also makes the eyebrows look a little bit higher and James maybe you can attest this as well with me but there are so many times where I was totally just confused about women where I thought like they were interested in me and then as soon as I like asked them out they said oh no why would you do that? No you're in the friend zone, stay away. And I kind of figured out later, it's because of the eyebrows. And what's really cool, the way that eyebrows are tweezed, it gives the eyebrows a little bit of a lift. And so it always kind of looks like, they looked more interested than they were. <laughs> well, I can't do it, now I'm laughing. But it kind of looks like, hello sailor, right? And it just kind of has this look. So we love it because it drives us guys crazy, but then we hate it because we're like, oh, I totally thought, man, I'm just getting mixed signal. I'm just getting the wrong signal. And James is shaking his head, by the way. So you've been in the friend zone too, right? Uh, Where you thought that like, if I had a nickel for every time I thought a woman was interested. Oh my gosh. So there you go. It's, uh, we love it and hate it at the same time. Okay. 
So we wanna make these a little bit thicker. Now, the next thing, we don't wanna draw individual eyebrow hairs. What you wanna do, if the eyebrows are darker, you can shade it in darker. If they're lighter eyebrows, you can shade them a little bit lighter. But we actually don't wanna draw individual eyebrow hairs because when you do that, they just really look bushy. So you want to avoid individual eyebrow strands. So that is how you do the basic shape. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one right here. Oops, almost a little unibrow there. So that is essentially how you are making eyebrows on the ladies. What not to do for eyebrows, I'm gonna completely ignore all the eyebrow pencil stuff and I'm gonna draw the individual hairs. So here we go. I'm not gonna do the, uh, the space. I could obviously draw the eyebrows all the way across and give it unibrow, but I'm gonna leave a little space. I don't wanna be completely rude. And that is not how you want to draw the eyebrows. That's more of who was interested in me. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So I hope you guys come back for the next uh, episode because we are going to talk about some tips, tricks, and techniques on hair. Did you enjoy class today? If so, give me a like. If there's something you'd like to see me cover in a future video, let me know what that is in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got a video series called Sketchbook Challenge that helps your drawing, creativity, and fill up an awesome looking sketchbook. Plus, there are videos on You Can Draw Star Wars, Hollywood is Dead, and sneak peeks at the Aladdin 3477 Motion Picture Trilogy. In order to not miss any new videos, hit that notification bell. Sharing is caring, and it's great to inspire your friends. Share this video on social media, and your friends will share awesome art tips they find with you. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Matt underscore Bush underscore Instagram. I'll see you back in the classroom soon. Don't be tardy.